trunk yeah. open up a summer so a good price out of sight in my whole guy Hey guys, Hi. welcome back to our channel. I'm AK, I'm Mindy. and today we are reacting to 10 words with double meanings in, in the, the Philippines. Philippines. Let's get started. Mga buhay Pilipinas! What's up sa inyo dyan? Ako po si Dwayne Woolley at ito po ang napagaganda kong asawa na si Shanta! Hello, my pababalami! <laughs> Dwayne Shanta together we are Duanta! Kung bago lang kayo sa aming channel, pakiclick nyo ang subscribe button. Kung taga-support kayo sa Duanta fam, i-thumbs up nyo at sa mga bashos dyan, i-thumbs down na lang po. Ayan. Huwag nyo kakalimutan yung bell button! Oh, Pupay nga gabi ang matanan, mayang gabi isin yung tanan at magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Ngayong araw po, pag-usapan natin ang 10 words that you cannot say in the Philippines. Now, these 10 words you can say in some parts of the Philippines, but not other parts of the Philippines. You see, in some parts of the Philippines, these words mean good things. In other parts of the Philippines, they don't mean good things. In fact, minsan magiging offensive ang iba. Yan ang pag-usapan natin ngayong araw. You're beautiful, shine like a star. So baka iniisip nyo kung bakit may maputing kalbo na nagtatagalog ng Bibisaya at <laughs> Eh kasi nga, nakatira ako dun sa Leyte at Samar dati. Missionary kasi ako nun. Kaya nga, napansin ko na may mga words na pwedeng sabihin sa Tagalog na bawal sabihin sa Bisaya. May mga words din na pwedeng sabihin sa Bisaya na bawal sabihin sa Tagalog. Pero it's the same word pa din. May nangyari sa akin kasi nung missionary pa ako na kung saan nagtuturo ako ng mga tao kung paano magdasal. Dapat kung sinabi na mapiyong kita. Piyong ipig sabihin, close your eyes, okay? Tayong lahat, piyong tayo. Bago kita magtikang, mapiyong kita. Piyong. Instead, this is what I said. Bago kita magtikang, piyos kita. <laughs> Alright, ladies and gentlemen, let's dive right in and look at the 10 words that you can say in some parts of the Philippines that you cannot say in other parts of the Philippines. <laughs> now, libog in Visaya simply means to be confused. Nalibog ko, alright? But in Tagalog, it means something else. Nagan mga sakyan diri sa Manila, oy? Oo nga, eh. Nalibog ko kung kung sa kumuha laban ba? Ang bastos naman ito. Word number two, libang. So libang in Tagalog simply means to pass the time. You're doing things to pass the time. But libang in Visaya... Ang boring boring dito. Tara, maglibang tayo. Alis tayo. It's boring like drinking. Just to get drunk. Oh my goodness. Sige na. Sige na. Na lang inog abot sa balay. Ayoko pang ang umuwi kasi ang boring din sa bahay. Grabe. Ang sawa kay Wow. Word number three. Sili. Hmm. Sarap kumain ng sili. Lalo na pag may ano, Bicol Express or Caldereta. Di ba? Lahat ng Pinoy foods dapat may sili para may variety ang lasa ng pagkain. Pero iba ang ibig sabihin sa waray. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show. And tonight, may dakita special nga bisita. Special hiya kay Tikang Hiyaha, Australia. Let's welcome Dwayne Woolley. Pakpak kita para hiya. Mabay nga gabi, Dwayne. Magandang gabi din po. Dwayne, yan na, papakianan ka namon. Ginaano ba paglutohin Bicol Express? Ay, simple lang yan. What's the name? Ang kailangan po natin ay manok. Oh, ayaw niyo kang alimte, may manok. Opo. Tapos yung pangalawa po, gata. Oh, gata, really what? Importante yung doro ang gata. Yung pinaka-importante na ingredient po natin ay sili. Cut! Layas! Layas! Iwas din hi! Waray ka! Awan ka lang ang hangan! Yaya ka ni Ken Suga dito! Kaya nagyaya ka ni Ken Suga dito! Live kita! Word number four. Bitaw. So in Visaya, bitaw simply means to agree. Someone says something, you agree with it, simply say, bitaw. Bitaw, no? In Tagalog, however, it means to drop something. So this is what might happen when a Tagalog person and a Visaya person use the word bitaw. Magdulat ta karon, magdulat ta og Simon says. Pag moingon ko Simon says, um taas imong kamot, mo taas pud imong kamot, ha? Okay. Okay. 
Simon says, Lingkod. Simon says, Tasuk kamus. Simon says, Tuyuk. Ang sayang nito, no? Oh, bitaw. Word number five, lagay. So in Tagalog, lagay simply means to put something there. Ilagay mo dyan, ilagay mo yung baso dyan, ilagay mo yung pinggan dyan. Kumusta ang kalagayan mo? Kumusta ang lagay mo? Ganon, alright? In Bisaya, however, iba ang ibig sabihin. Yes! Wow! Ang saya-saya ko itong araw na to. Grabe! Nanalo ko ng loto! Wow! Nanalo ako. Grabe! Santa ko ayun! Anong pangalan mo pala? Santa. Ay, Santa ang ganda ng pangalan mo. Grabe! Alam mo, dahil nanalaw ko sa loob. I like the way they pick them up. They don't know each other. Bustos kay ka! Huh? Anong sinabi ko? Hoy! Cellphone mo na iwan! Why it means all these bad, bad words? Word number six is langgam. Langgam is simply an animal. In Tagalog, it's a different animal than it is to Bisaya. One word! Hayop! Wonder Woman. Ah, ibun, ibun, ibun. Ibun nga, ibun nga. Langgam. 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 So many words, mga langgam. Our next word, ladies and gentlemen. It's bird. Oh my god. Boy, he said body. Na na that word. Something up. Buhat in Bisaya, however, means to do something. So this is what might happen if you get a Tagalog and a Bisaya person use the word buhat. Pusti na yung maganda ko, yung payat ako. Oh, kaya nga nga nga. Ganun ka din. One, two, three, smile. Uy! Ba't sa'yo nga ginagawa? Diya! Grabe, kanina pa ka mo naglingkod, Diya! Grabe, hugaw ka ayaw ininga balay! Maglingkod ka mo, Ana! Hugaw ka ayaw diri, uy! Oh, yes, boss, yes, boss. Grabe, buhato ninyo, Ana! Buhato ninyo! Sikat kaya din, oh! Nakakainis ni Ray, ang ate-ate. Kala mo, malaki mo pa sa'yo. Ang bigat! Ang bigat! Ang bigat! Ano ba? Tara na! Mag-resign na nga lang tayo. Word number eight. Pila. Pila in Tagalog means to line up. Pila in Visaya, however, is something different. Pila? Opo. Usa, duha, tulu, upat. Lili. Usa, duha, tulu, upat. Our ninth word for today is dere. Okay, so dere in Rorai simply means no. Dere in Tagalog, however, Disgusting, or to be disgusted. This is what might happen if a waray and a Tagalog person use the word dere. Maupay yung duro nga gabi ha i yung atanan. Yan na, adi nalawat kita sa ating cooking show. So, yan na, may dakita special guest, he, Dwayne Woolley. He looks all over me. He's going to say the food is disgusting. Welcome to our show. Salamat nga kumani ka. So, pag-usapan pa atin ngayon, Ma'am Shanta, ang kaldaleta, kung gaano siya kasarap, Mahilig talaga ako magluto ng kaldereta sa mga events kahit sa lugar sa Manila, sa Pilipinas, kahit sa ibang bansa. Nagluluto din ako sa bahay, ganun. Eh, ikaw ma'am Shanta, nakaluto ka na ba ng kaldereta? Diri, diri. Diri? Diri, diri, diri. Nandidirihan ka ba sa nagluluto ko diri kaldereta? Diri ba? Our last word for this evening, ladies and gentlemen, is puti. Putik in Tagalog no, no. simply means mud. Putik in waray waray, however, Ay, ingat po tayo dito. At daming mga putik dito. Kababastos mo, Ido. Eh. Lagi daw lang hihinakan ka suga dito. Ang problema mo. Maraming salamat po sa panunood ngayong gabi. Ako si Dwayne Willie. Ako si Shanta. Oh my goodness. Pumunta kayo sa amin. Huwag niyong sasabihin yung putik. Kitikits po tayo sa sunod na video ng What the Fab! Oh wow! That was really, yeah, really funny. It was fun and confusing, but I guess if if you already lived in the Philippines for a long time, you should know all these. Well, so you don't use them when you are talking with a particular set of people. Well, that's really fun. The same word, different meaning. Of course, that's crazy, really indeed. I guess the lot of those words. That can mean different meanings. Can mean something offensive. Can mean something abusive. Yeah, for example, the one that is no, but saying it. Yeah. Uh, disgust. That's, like for instance. And the one about the other. 
Full thick. Full thick. <laughs> well, I guess that's why they 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 have to communicate in another language so they can understand each other because the difference in all the is it dialects mm. or languages. Languages. Yeah. That's why it's it's easier for them to communicate in English maybe. Since that would be a, one language that everybody can. But it's really confusing indeed. Is this because? For instance, we are trying to learn Tagalog and then it's a Bisaya and this word can mean something different and indeed we are not trying to abuse anyone or say something wrong. I guess before you start s- practicing the language, <laughs> what are you? <laughs> <laughs> Which area are you from? Do you speak Tagalog or you speak Bisaya? Or is he... What's the other one? Uh, or is he... Uh, uh, oh. Bawa or something, no? But yeah. I can't really yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. That was really fun <laughs> to watch. We really enjoyed it. Uh, we hope you also enjoyed yeah. it. Make sure to leave a comment down below. Subscribe. I'll see you all later. later.